turn AI images into vectors absolutely free with a very cool tool called Recraft. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. In the past, I've shown you how to upscale, downsize, and vectorize your videos using other tools. I absolutely love ClipDrop and I absolutely love MidJourney's internal tools, but now we need a tool to convert an image into a vector. A vector is a special image format that is infinitely scalable. That means no matter how much you zoom in, it never fuzzes out. This is different than upscaling, so it requires a different process. In the past, my favorite tool was Vectorizer. It's not free anymore, but I've got a brand new free one for you called Recraft. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right after the music. This is the Recraft homepage. They have a list of all of their really cool features and bragging about the places they've used it. All of that's interesting, but I just love the vector tool. It's just one of many of the cool features they have on this tool right now. If you want to check out pricing, the beauty of Recraft is that you get a commercial license even with the free version. The only difference is that with the paid version, it's a little bit faster and that your images are private, so you don't have to worry about someone else seeing them. Not really worried about that, so I'm going to show this in this video right now. So let's log in. If you want to click try now for free, you can create your account. You can log in with Google, Discord, or create a username and email address. Since I already have an account, I'll just log in with Google. Now that I'm logged in, we can see the past project I worked on, the onboarding project. They've updated their terms of service. That's fine. I'm going to click create a new project. I'm going to drag and drop an image onto the dashboard, the operating error, and it pulls it right in. If the image is too big, you can make it smaller so you can fit it on the screen. This is a JPG image. This is an old product of mine called Hydra, which was a fun logo of a multi-headed dragon. Let's right click on it. First thing you wanna do is remove background. With the background removed, we can now convert this into an infinitely scalable vector. We're gonna right click it again and just click vectorize. It's difficult to tell if an image is a vector just by looking at it. The only way to tell is by zooming in. So we can make the image a lot larger, but that's not really a big enough test. We want to zoom in a lot more. So let's download our image. We're going to right click the image and we're going to click export as, and you want to choose SVG. SVG is the vector file format. So we're going to click download it SVG. The next step is to open whatever your favorite image editor is, whether it's Photoshop, Photo P, Canva. I'm going to use Affinity Photo because it's local to my computer. And I'm going to make a really huge canvas just to show how much we can zoom in on the image and there's no artifact. I'm going to create a canvas that's 10,000 by 10,000 pixels, which is massive. <laughs> Click Create. And then we're just going to drag in my new SVG file. This is how small the image is, but I'm going to zoom in on it by just making it really, really big. And there's still no artifact. And no matter how much I zoom in, the lines are crisp and locked in. What SVG does or vectorizing does is turn everything into a shape. So this is actually a series of shapes and I can open up the file directly to show you what that looks like. If I open the SVG with Affinity Photo as its own file, all of the different shapes are shown here. I can remove any one shape from the image. So this little triangle here on the left, watch me remove it again. That's one shape. What this does is harden a lot of the edges. So vectorizing is not something you want to do if you have a fuzzy image, if you have an image with fur or animal hair, that's where you might run into problems. But a logo where you want hard edges and the ability to zoom in and the logo always looks the same. It has that perfect consistency. This is how you do it. This is also very great for print on demand designs. This is different than upscaling. Upscaling is a different process. Upscaling just makes a larger version of the image, but it's still a fixed size. This has no fixed size. It's infinite. I can make it 10,000 times bigger and it will still look exactly the same. When you upscale an image, you get a slightly different result. And let me show you how upscaling works just so we can compare it. This is Topaz Gigapixel AI. It's hands down my favorite upscaling tool. I'm going to drag in the original version of the image without the background removed. And this will show you how it does a slightly different process. Do you see this little triangle that gets left over here? When we're converting to a vector, that's not going to get left behind. Let's save the image and actually upscale it. The beauty of 
Topaz Gigapixel is that it's very fast. You only pay for it once. I've run thousands of images through this. They're constantly giving me free updates. They have to me from version six to version seven for free. I'm a huge fan of this tool. I'll leave a link right below this video so you can check it out. It's my favorite upscaling tool because I run it locally. I don't have to use an internet connection. I can use this tool whenever I want. Let's take a look at the upscaled version. Going to go back to our example here. Let's zoom out on our canvas again. This is our huge canvas. We're going to drag in the upscaled version. So this is a larger version. It still doesn't fill the image. I can make it bigger and bigger. I didn't remove the background from this one, but I certainly can. If we zoom in, do you see there's different coloration right here? There's shading, this little triangle here. And if we zoom in a lot, we can get blur. There will always be blur if you zoom in enough on any digital image, but with a vector, you never get this. It's always fine. This is the vector overlaid over the upscaled image. Let me show you the differences just to get a feel for how vectoring is different. So this is the vector, this is upscaled. So the vectored image has a little bit more tightness to it. It's a slight difference, but this is the difference between vectorizing and upscaling. If you use more complicated images, you'll start to notice more of a difference. Recraft is a great tool to have in your toolkit. Right now, it's my favorite tool for converting images to vectors. I use it for logos. I use it for print on demand designs. This is a really great tool to have in your toolkit. The fact that you get a commercial license for free means you definitely want to create an account now before they take those away. This is something worth signing up for. Links right below this video. There's a lot of other things this tool does. This is just a drop in the water. But as soon as I saw a new way to vectorize for free, I want to share that with you guys as quickly as possible. If you find this useful, please hit that like button that helps more people to see this video, which means more people can create vectors for free and get some really amazing tools to add to their toolkit. Thank you so much for lasting this far in the video. If you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and you'll see more of my content in your feed. If you hit the bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a video. This is a smaller channel, so when you leave a comment, I do personally read and reply to every single one of those. Appreciate every single one of you who's got me a little bit closer hitting that 2,000 subscriber goal. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button, and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.